everybody. Okay, we're heading back to Asia, and I've got one more of these Chinese rations left, and I will have the link to the seller down there in the description box. Was able to uh, pick these up on eBay, pretty reasonable prices, so uh, really can't complain if you're really looking to uh, break into uh, international rations. So, what we have here. This is a military food type 13 individual self-heating ration. And this is menu number four. And we look down here on the bottom. It is from, <laughs> what exactly is the date? Uh, August 2nd, uh, 2015. So about that. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I did put a shout out for a translator and uh, uh, within an hour or two I had Woody and Darren uh, come to my rescue. So thank you very much guys. I really appreciate it. Now looking over on the back, we have the contents right there. And we have instructions on how to use the heating units. So, like the last review I had, uh, the tear notches are along this side to make sure that you open it lengthwise. I always kind of prefer to open it up this way, so at least you could use the rest of your, your bag as a container for water. But, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So, we will use this tear notch, pull right down the side, and we'll remove all of those contents. So let's take a look at this stuff. Alright, we'll see what we have here. I can't tell right off the bat. Oh, got our little spoon. This is a completely, totally different spoon than I had in the last uh, two rations. So, okay but at least it has a little napkin in there. And uh, the one thing about these is the meal is already sealed inside of the ration heater. Now, one of these rations is uh, green beans with beef and fried rice. We'll put that to the side real quick. And the other ration, the other main, is... Uh, chicken with carrots and fried rice. So we'll find out which one of those is which. I see every once in a while somebody opening all these things and then ha having a problem putting them putting them back together. Uh, so at least this time I have the little uh, water fill bag. I didn't have it on my last review so I happened to find uh, one from my very first review just in case. So this is how much water we'll put in each one of these. Uh, I think this is a pickled cucumber. I believe that's what this is. So some of that. And then we have the drink, which is a, a really light uh, melon type drink. So it's not very strong, just has a slight hint of flavor. Yeah, you know, it's for minerals and vitamins. That's that's its whole purpose. So, all right, let's get some water and uh, we'll get these uh, heated up and we'll get this drink made. One thing I do like about these rations is the touch of adding this extra foam insulation to help make sure that you really get your contents or your main nice and heated through. So, I wish uh some of the Western countries would start doing this or at least provide like a, a an additional bag or a sack or something like that but you know cost and weight considerations are are always a factor in these things and let's see if we have a little tear notch and there's a small slit right there in the bag so we'll give that a nice tear and you can see it's got a really large heating pad in there and we'll do the same to this one it's got a larger tear notch in this one 
in right up to this fill line. Hopefully we can be uh, successful. And we'll pour it right into ration one. And let it seep in there so we can get a good activation. And we'll set this aside. You might be able to hear that first main cooking off. It's really going. And which side is the heating element on? I can't see in the bag. It's on this side. Pull this one down. And we'll set this aside too. And these are working nicely. So let's get that drink made up. So I'm looking at the drink. I don't see how much liquid to put in here. I'm, guess, I'm guessing about 8 to 10 ounces. And I looked on the bag as well. I didn't see anything on there that, that told me what to uh, use. So we will use a standard glass. And hopefully I can find a little tear notch on here. Right. Yep. Smells like the same exact stuff as uh, the other two rations that I've tried. Well, I guess the other three, including that dry ration. Just got that in there. Put a little bit of water. And the spoon that comes with it isn't uh, really large, so I'll just use an MRE spoon and we'll give that a stir. And while all that stuff is heating up and doing everything, we'll just give you a few little facts on this thing. Uh, it says this thing has uh, a 1,152 calories is what this meal provides. It gives you like 37 uh, grams of protein, 35 grams of fat, and uh, <clears throat> like 170 grams of carbohydrates, which you would expect with those noodles and all that rice. And uh, it's designed for a 36 month shelf life. All right, while we're waiting for that stuff to heat up, we'll take a look at our spoon and our napkin. It's just a plain Jane old napkin. In the spoon. I don't recall this spoon being this small in the other one. And man, you talk about flimsy. So hopefully, uh, you probably would actually melt this or warp this if it got too hot. But I'm quite sure it's uh, serviceable for the task. And the last thing we have is this pickled cucumber. So let's try to get this out of here and plated as well. Of course, it always has to be mashed on the side where the tear notch is, so I have to shove it down a little bit. Oh, getting that little pickling juice everywhere. Yeah, it definitely looks different from the last stuff that we had. I think the last stuff was like purple kind of looking. Oh, there goes Sherman. So I'm imagining pickled cucumber is going to sure <laughs> calm down, buddy. Imagining pickled cucumber is going to be tasting exactly like a pickle. So can't get all this stuff out of there. So there you go. Maybe that little bit right there. Okay, I just went to check on these things to see how they were doing, and I had an interesting reaction because I've, I've had them together. The foam is actually fused together. So, uh, yeah, I've never had that happen before. So, uh, if you do get one of these rations, don't lay them on top of each other. So, just a tip. 
All right, it's been a little over 15 minutes. These things are still uh, heating up or still have heat on them. So I am going to try to get these out of here without uh, trying to seriously burn myself. And, and this one is the beef and green beans with fried rice. So that is the rice, which means that this is going to be the chicken, carrots, and also fried rice. So sometimes you get noodles. This time we've got two things of rice. So, all right, I'm gonna give these a little, a little wipe down to get some of this uh, stuff off the outside and then we'll plate this. All right, give them a little wipe down. Let's pull this off the top. Tear this notch off, and this is the green beans and beef and, and fried rice. And it looks very similar to uh, just about every other uh, time we've had this. Looks like we got a little bit of peas, some carrot. I guess it's a little chunks of beef, and of course the fried rice definitely uh, looks a little gelatinous but that's because it's been sitting in a retort pouch for a while so give this a little cut and then again if you had any seasonings if you had fish sauce if you had whatever you could uh, put it on here as well and then this is the the chicken carrots and rice And right off the bat, doesn't look too much different than the last one, except for maybe the color of the meat is slightly different. And it looks like instead of peas, we've got corn in this one. So, okay. So, little itty bitty small pieces of chicken. And then, of course, we have, uh, well, it's pickled cucumber, but it might as well just be pickles. So, all right, let's try the beef with green beans. And it said green bean, and they, I think they, no, they're actually peas. So, but what can you do? So here is that. And yeah, it is a little on the bland side, but it looks like we might even have a, uh, mushroom in there too so that's kind of a surprise let's try some with a beef we'll snag that mushroom and just a little bit of rice I guess this uh, spoon actually does kind of work well with this uh, with this kind of thing because it's almost like a spade it really digs in there and cuts it up I don't know I could eat this without any spices on it I mean it's not it's not bad so here is some of the the carrot. I think it, it's got to be it's got to be in some kind of stock. You can kind of taste just a little bit of something. Maybe this was a little bit of beef stock, and this one had a little bit of chicken stock. But there's the fried rice, corn. I believe there is yeah, there's a carrot in there, and of course a little bit of chicken. This one almost tastes a little more bland than that one. So I would imagine they were <laughs> cooked kind of at the same place around the same time. But for some reason, this is a little bland. Also, the chicken, and I said the same thing in the last review that I had one of these. The chicken is very, very done. It's tough and it's kind of stringy. But I wouldn't be complaining if I was out in the field uh, in the cold or in the rain and had access to some hot chow. So, all right, let's try some of this pickled cucumber or just straight up pickles. And that's exactly what they taste like. Not quite as sharp of a, of a flavor as a dill pickle, but if you've ever, ever had a dill pickle, that's pretty much what that tastes like. And we'll try some of the vitamin mineral drink. 
And like I said, it's very watered down. It's not supposed to be, you know, the flavor boost, the flavor enhancer. It's just supposed to give you your vitamins and minerals. So that thing does its job. Now, I know this usually goes against the grain for, like, MRE videos. You know, you're just supposed to eat what's in the bag or what's in the box. But I'm going to try a little bit of this kimchi seasoning or furikake on this just to see how it is, how it fares. Yep. There's uh, the other half's clothes. So we'll just give this a little try because this was the more bland out of the two. So a little bit of kimchi furikake. Gives it a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat, which is always kind of nice. I always look forward to that. So, okay. This was a review of a Chinese Type 13 individual self-heating ration menu number four. So, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm going to enjoy eating this throughout the remainder of the week. And I will see you all next time.